saw it, we could hardly believe it. As a scientist, it was very surprising. So when the results came in, I was like, wow. When I saw the data, I couldn't believe it. This was completely unexpected. February 2012. Researchers at the prestigious North Carolina Research Campus Human Performance Laboratory make a startling discovery. One that answers some important questions and opens the door to even more. The path to this discovery actually began 2,000 miles away in Salt Lake City, Utah, with a company and a product called ASEA. We've always known that ASEA does something pretty significant in the body, and we've been on a constant journey of discovery to try to find out how ASEA is working in the body. We understand the power of redox signaling. Over the last three years, we have seen the dynamic impact of ASEA and redox signaling on people's lives. ASEA is committed to understanding every aspect of redox signaling and how it empowers the human body. ASEA is the world's first and only redox signaling supplement. Redox signaling works on a cellular level and its primary functions ensure the ongoing vitality of our cells, including proper cell metabolism. Metabolism is the name we give to the chemical reactions that take place inside our cells in order to sustain life. When these chemical reactions happen, they leave behind traces, almost like fingerprints. We call these fingerprints metabolites. One of the premier institutions for studying metabolites and their importance to human health is the prestigious North Carolina Research Campus Human Performance Laboratory. And so, ASEA contacted Dr. David C. Neiman, director of the Human Performance Laboratory at Appalachian State University. Dr. Neiman, the vice president of the American College of Sports Medicine, is the author of nine books dealing with physiology and exercise testing, more than 200 peer-reviewed publications, and more than 300 articles in health and wellness magazines. We have a national reputation for testing various sports nutrition products and their effect on performance and exercise-induced physiologic stress. So this campus, the, the North Carolina Research Campus, we have several universities uh, that are here, including Duke, UNC Chapel Hill, uh, NC State University, and we're working together with various companies, Dole Foods, uh, General Mills, and we're all working here together really under one mission, which is the connection between nutrition and health and performance. The North Carolina Research Campus was established to bring together researchers um, from a variety of different universities, from a variety of different companies, all sort of focused on health and nutrition and agriculture-based research. So in that sense, it's a very unique structure. The reality is we wanted the best, and everyone we talked to, to a person, said, if you want the best, go with Dr. Neiman, his team, and the North Carolina Research Institute, and that's what we did. And so in late 2011, Dr. Neiman and several other PhDs carefully crafted a scientific study, a study designed to measure the effect of ASEA on metabolites, the fingerprints left behind as a result of cell metabolism. So the way that we conducted the trial was to randomly assign half of the subjects to one treatment and half of the subjects to the other treatment. It's a double-blinded study, meaning that we as the investigators had no idea who we were assigning to what condition, an A condition and a B condition, but we didn't know what those were. So the subjects are assigned to either A or B. They come in and they do the first trial and they ride as hard as they possibly can. And then they cross over, meaning that if they were on condition A to start with, they would then tr transition to, to treatment B or condition B for the second trial and vice versa, B to A. And so in that way, we're really testing we're taking everything out of the equation as best we can by just leaving it to the athlete and the bike and riding as hard as they possibly can to test the, the possible benefit of, of, of ASEA. We drew blood samples on the athletes after they had taken ASEA or uh, placebo for a week. That was just before they cycled 75 kilometers. And then we took another blood sample after that and then an hour later. The rigorous protocols of the double-blinded crossover study took several weeks, and the analysis of the blood draws took even longer. Back in Salt Lake City, ASEA executives were anxious for news. We knew that they were doing cycling trials in North Carolina, testing ASEA. And we waited for results. And we waited, and we waited, 
and we waited. Then we heard from Dr. Neiman again, and he said, what we want to talk to you about is too important to talk about over the phone. We'd like you to come down here and meet with us here in North Carolina. The ASEA corporate team immediately flew to North Carolina, where they learned that the results of the study surprised the entire group of PhDs. They were expecting to see something when ASEA was combined with exercise. Instead, they found chronic results, that is, results that happened before exercise, simply from drinking ASEA. We didn't think that drinking ASEA would shift metabolites chronically. We thought it would do something during exercise, but not after a week of drinking it. After working with the bioinformatics statistical division, we were able to determine that drinking ASEA over one week caused a shift in 43 metabolites. Not a little shift, it was a large shift that caught us by surprise. When the metabolomics came back from ASEA, I, we were just like, wow, there's something really interesting going on that we weren't picking up from our traditional markers. And, and the last data set that we had come in was metabolomics, and there were these huge differences um, in free fatty acid mobilization. And so that was kind of a shock to us, because we weren't expecting to see anything at that point. But um, there's certainly something going on there, which is really interesting. We have rarely seen such a drastic difference. In the compounds that we look at, we're looking at probably about 150 to 200 compounds. For 43 of those signals to change, that's a quarter of the metabolite profile that we're monitoring. So it's a huge bump in metabolite shifts due to just ingestion of, a, of one product. So it's, it's a drastic difference. I didn't believe it. So when I saw this, you know, that, that 43 metabolites were uh, differentially, they, they were at different levels. I, 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 w I didn't believe it. And I've done studies with, with microarray analysis where you're looking at thousands and thousands of genes and you might find two or three genes that are different, differentially expressed. But here we are in metabolomics and you find 43 things that are different. It was astounding. The data revealed shifts in 43 metabolites something these PhDs had never seen before, something that caused these scientists to use words like astounding and massive. But what exactly did these metabolite shifts mean? Many of the metabolites were related to plasma free fatty acids. So the athletes actually started the exercise after drinking ASEA with a lot more of these uh, free fatty acids in their blood. The reason that's important is then the muscles will actually use that as fuel, sparing the muscle glycogen and the use of amino acids, which is what we found uh, as we analyzed the data. And the free fatty acids are very important because during exercise, we'll oxidize those to make energy in the form of ATP. So what we found in the study was that there was increased fatty acids that were available. And fatty acids are a fuel source for exercise. So if there are available, then what could be happening is we might be able to go a little bit longer with ASEA. We might be able to recover quicker between bouts. So there's a lot of things that are coming out that are quite exciting. My thoughts on the, the study is, it, well, my first off one was sort of like I already kind of knew this, <laughs> just through my own experience with the product. So, but at the same time, it's great to have that, that solid evidence, that laboratory test that makes it official, gets the official stamp of approval from the scientists and then to go along with the stamp of approval from elite athletes. With ASEA, I've noticed my training and my, my times and my meets have improved significantly. And learning about the research behind ASEA, I know that it, that just boosts my confidence and, um, and reinforces what I already know. It gives me even more confidence and more understanding of why this is doing, what this is doing to my body. When I can be able to, be able to train at this level at 51 years old, and compete with the 25 year olds and blow them out of the water time after time, it is the science behind it just totally blows me away. This is exciting news and again this research that we've seen that can prime the body to actually put you in a better position pre-exercise uh, with this particular product, this is exciting news. It's no surprise to me. I've already been using it and I've already experienced it so I am not surprised at all. And it's just nice to know that my own personal experience is backed by a scientific study that validates what I've already experienced. I've experienced all of these tremendous benefits over the past few years when I'm doing these world records and maybe didn't understand it, but was fearful to go off of the product. 
And with these new studies, it's really helped me to understand why I don't get sore and why I'm able to just lock in this, this strong pace and hold it for so long. So now you have the elite scientists confirming what the elite athletes have already known, and it really makes ASEA impossible to ignore. With ASEA, I know that I, I can swim faster, and it's nice to know that PhDs agree with me. But the implications of these fatty acid metabolite shifts go far beyond the world of elite athletes. They impact everyone who drinks ASEA. Because the metabolite shifts occurred before exercise, the athleticism of the test group was a non-factor. The results came simply from drinking ASEA. The studies showed that merely drinking four ounces of ASEA for seven days caused the body to release fat stores and make them available for fuel. So yeah, regardless of the exercise intervention, in this particular study, the, the chronic effects that we saw after one week supplementation of ASEA, that, that would apply to more than just athletes. Drinking ASEA for a week caused this increase in free fatty acids. Every uh, understanding from the literature is that these probably came from the fat stores in the abdominal area. And we'll be taking a closer look at that. So if you drink ASEA, we found that the fats go up in the blood. If you're not exercising, those fats will still be used to support the body's metabolism for life. Metabolomics, the ideal tool for measuring the effect of supplementation on the human body, revealed astonishing properties of ASEA. Simply drinking ASEA for seven days mobilized fuel stores in the body, fuel stores that almost certainly come from abdominal fat. For those who want to burn more fat during exercise, ASEA is ideal. Even without exercise, the freed up fat stores will be used by the body as fuel. Since this fuel source is available at the start of exercise, it's likely that muscle glycogen is spared, giving athletes who drink ASEA a huge advantage. And additional screening showed that ASEA does all this with no negative effects on inflammation, oxidative stress, immunology, and diagnostic chemistries for liver and kidney function. Drinking ASEA brings positive benefits to everyone, regardless of athletic ability. But what if we were to think about the idea that we are all athletes? The truth is we are. Our bodies crave physical activity. We were meant to be active. So regardless of what you're doing, whether it be picking up your child, washing your car, uh, throwing a ball with your children, we're expressing the capacity of our body to fulfill its desire to be physically active. And ASEA is the key to activating that efficiency. This breakthrough discovery gives clarity and insight into one aspect of ASEA and its benefits. And it's just the beginning. These are extremely important data, and we look forward to doing further research. We saw a story emerge with the ASEA study that looks like we're getting a change in fuel usage or availability. So there's something there, and we need to do more research to get into that further. These data, we feel, are very important and fascinating, and we intend to better understand what's in the drink and this shift in the metabolism that occurred. We want to understand what that means for every individual. Redox signaling as a body of science is large, for sure, probably larger than any of us even imagine. But the irony for me is when I think of ASEA, I don't think about science. I think about people. I think about the humanity, if you will, of our product, the impact that I have seen that it has on individuals and lives. It's that humanity and the impact on humanity that underscores our full commitment to pushing the boundaries of understanding the science.